Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 74 of my Elden Ring playthrough. I can actually now see the cha chapel. I missed it previously because I was looking at the firewall. Anyway, we are not doing this today. We are told that there is a needle somewhere in the swamp currently to our west. But we're not going to do that today either. No, no, no. Instead, we have something else in mind. Um... We're going to clear this place. We're going back to the Crystal Tunnel. That is the plan. But before that, I want to get rid of the... ...runes that I have. So we're going to quickly nip over to one of our store friends over here. Actually, it might be worth me... Um, can I sell... Yeah, we can tell. Um, I'll nip back to the round table hold, actually. Let's see if there's anything new over there before we continue down one of these. Oh, also, you may have noticed I've changed my gear back. Um, we're no longer using the two eyes, so we're not getting the extra endurance from it. Um, so we've gone back to this. We've replaced our leggings because they were our lowest... Um, uh, Resistance and the lowest resistance on them, and we've basically gone back to our usual set of gear. Um, okay, you hold it on. Oh. Ah, no, he, he's finally gone. Roger's bell bearing, spell blades attire, Roger's letter. Ah, examine. Written in, the, uh, uh, written in a trembling hand. I forgot to tell you, but it seems D has a younger brother. Uh, I heard he lies deep in sleep in the aquatic uh, or in, in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron. That's the one we're after, isn't it? It is said he stood before the Prince of Death, not far beyond that spot. Interesting. I'll have to make a note of that. Um, let's also have a look at his attire. Glintstone Sorcerer Roger's pointed hat. A sign of a heretical p practitioner. Uh, strengthens Glintstone Sorcery skills. I uh, wonder if that's specifically Glintstone Sorceries, or if it's all Glintstone Sorceries. Actually no, because Glintstone Sorceries isn't an individual school, there's just a lot of schools in it. I'd have to check the um, wiki to see exactly what that does and doesn't boost. Roger spent his entire life um, behaving with, um, with utter detachment. No one noticed the anger, grief, regret, or fear that existed along with it. Uh, problem is that all of this stuff is going to be light armor. Glintstone's also a robe, traveling attire, graced, uh, graced with an intricate aristocratic de uh, decorations, strengthens Kingston sorcery skills. Oh, all of them strengthen the skills. I will have to look up to see exactly how powerful that is or isn't. Um, I don't think his bell bearing is going to have given us anything. You chill. You chill. We leave you be. Up the bell bearing. Yeah, we already had all of this. Journey to the cap of the two fingers. You may be up. Uh, nothing here. Oh, we should be able to... We, we should have come back here a long time ago. Because I believe... Greetings. Are you here for... Oh no, we maybe we did come back and get it done.
Fair enough. Well, I took you for no matter. It's all day out. You're out. Okay. We still need more sniffing stone threes if we want to be able to start bringing this up. Okay, we can get one of these. Which one? Let's main hand one. Let's bring that up to five. And then bring it up to 13. Then we, if we can get another three more Smith and Stone fours, we can bring them all to 13. Um, yeah, we have two of them now. It's not like I'm ever going to get good scaling out of it, that's the thing. We don't actually have any Dragon Communion or Dragon things. We could get Dragon Communion things, we're just choosing not to. But for a second that door was open, it's not. Okay, um, so yeah, we came here, we need to sell... Um, I reckon that'll be enough. That might be a little bit more than enough. I can't. I, I don't know the specific number. You have anything new to say? Probably not. We've not really progressed anything. In this ash, it reminds me. Of nope. Okay. Preparations done. Let us return to episode 6 and the hell that was here. We are fractionally more prepared now. Uh, level up. Did we do it right? Oh, we were basically bang on. Nice. Uh, health first. Okay. Uh, I think our spell loadout should be fine. to be one on top of there. Yeah, there it is. It's a nasty place to be hiding yourself. Well, fortunately, we have lots of HP to recover from all of this. We in theory could ignore all of these guys. There's another one up there, but he's asleep, I think, until you approach him. You just can't do anything about me at the minute. It's fine. 
Uh, we'll worry about that after we've dealt with him. We can ignore those. Can you let me up without forcing me to? Yes. Are you in range? Okay, good. You're up there. We can wait for you to come down here, but we don't have to wait specifically. Can we fall behind you and... Boom. That was entirely the wrong button. I'm going to need that health pot for later. Hmm, what's the purpose of this? Five, I see that. Smith in stone five. Mana, please. Thank you. <sighs> Having such a small mana bar. These are problems I thought I'd got past. But I don't have a massive amount of spare great runes. So, kind of avoiding spending or spending them. I'd like to have some kind of stockpile just in case. Should we have to one shot you now? I forget at what point he wakes up. Either way, I'm not going to give him the chance. How's about no? Can you come over here? Okay. We all... I didn't mean to actually pick that up. I wanted to bring up the um, UI. That was the goal. Okay, did we miss any? Works by jumping from here to here, and from here to here. How do we get that? Ah, probably drop off there. Good lord, why is the... I've never used that back step. It's probably good in combat, I probably should use it in combat. But the fact it's the same button as a bunch of other stuff. Oh, we made it. Okay, now it doesn't matter sneaking around here. You're going to come around the corner. Staff ablaze. It's almost as if I'd been here before and suffered while I was still level 6 or there or thereabouts.
given the more magic-y, um, the more magic-y feel of this place, you are dead? You are alive? I think, yeah, you're dead. You, you were just an item. I figure there's a non-zero chance there's a hidden passage somewhere. I can't hit you with that. Can I hit you with one of these? I don't know what this will reach. From here it should do. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The only one that was in here. Okay. I've known that's been in there for a while. Someone else did a similar thing I did. Although they didn't not try to go down like I did. They tried to go down and then decided that wasn't the way out because they missed um, uh, an actual path. Two of them isn't there. We can get back attack on one of them, not the other. Oh damn it, my second part of that combo just went straight through him. Sure, we're not missing anything. We can immediately kill one of these. Um, there are just two of them. The one behind us is dead. That didn't kill him. What do we have here? We've seen you ages ago. Faithful Canvas Talisman. And what in the devil is that? Ah, raises the potency of incantations. It's the, um, the sibling of our Graven School Talisman. Right, please tell me there's a staff of Malachi out here. Or respawn obelisk or whatever they're called. Just I don't want to have to do that run every single time I die to this thing. 
I think I'm going to have to do that then every time we die to that thing. Um, I look at my health bar without the thing and it's just, it's so small. Uh, we know what's in there. Do we have enough to summon... Burb. I think we summon Burb for the extra damage. Earlier might be, or might not be a bad idea, but I think the Burb will um, be able to dodge better. Plus the Burb is slightly cheaper. I wish you could see from out here whether I have the FP for it. We have 53. We have enough for earlier. We have enough for the burp. We can summon either or. We'll start with um, the burp. I wonder how long would it take this to heal us? Probably a couple of minutes. Okay, let's go back to that. Um, What would be nice is one of these that does HP, FP, and stamina. Rather than an HP, stamina, and equip load. Why am I twitchy on my right finger today, middle finger? Okay. Drink. Prepare. Which one is it? That'll be four. I said I was going to summon the burb. This is not the burb. I don't think you can poison it, Avelia. That's a lot of shit. That's a hell of a lot of shit. Did you see the list? So he gave us one of these, six or five of these, one of those, one of those, or some of those, some of those, and a somber mine in Belbarin. How many sevens did he give it? It was five sevens, right? Five smith, oh yeah, five smithing stone sevens. Well, yikes. Okay, area cleared. Uh, we'll pop up to the top because we want to be able to... Um, yeah, that's the exit. Oh, it's night time. That's not a problem. Let's hand this bell bearing in. We do want to be able to see what levels it gives us access to. That was a somber Smith and Stone Bell Bearing, I believe. Somber Miner's Bell Bearing. Which gives us access to unlimited supplies of ones and twos. Not useful. 
but we'll take it nonetheless. Um, do we have enough before we just run over there? No, we don't have enough fours or threes for anything. Actually, no, we do have enough fours that we could... No, it's not fours. Let me just check. We're on fives. We need fours explicitly for one weapon. Well, I took you for dinner, no matter it. Lay out your arm. Strength and armaments. Yeah, so we have enough to bring one of these up a level. Still keeping enough spare for that. Um, I mean, Twin Blade is our go-to weapon if we're not wielding anything at all. If we're not doing something specific. So, let's bring this up to 14. Okay, and that didn't give us a massive amount of soul, that's fine. Massive amount of wounds. Okay, um... Well, since this is going to start us on the west side, we may as well continue on from the west side. So we'll scan down the west side first. I'm not too worried about those, just because of... Hello! Uh, yeah, well, I was saying, I'm not too worried about those, just because they're going to be too much of a pain to kill. And I'd rather not deal with the Scarlet Rot. I see something glowy over there. We have marionettes. Magic door. I didn't see you. You blended into the background. Rotten stray. Now we can inflict their annoyance on other people. I see them over there. Hello. Does the game want us to take the back entrance into here? Is that what it's telling me? There's the Guidance of Grace. Ah, this is specifically the Tower of Sorcery. You... Oh, Town of Sorcery. Yeah, let's, um... We're saving this for later. Let's not. The Swamp is priority one today. I think I'm nearby its path, I don't think I'm on its path. It's a gold one though, so that's faith. Here it comes. Missed it. But it is going to come back over here. Missed it. And come down here. Poison armament, nice. 
Okay. Are you a spell? Well, I think you're mana recharge. This, yeah, that's just a alternate path in. Here in another one. Oh, good lord, no. I say no to those things. You explode. Heart of War, the Ring of Light. Okay, so those things apparently don't care about me. I can be thankful for this. Are you friend or foe? Foe. Good fight. Little bit too slow and lumbering, which makes my higher dex build a bit too easy for it. Uh, Commander Standard, that's just a weapon. Unalloyed Golden Needle. We have our item, but we still have the entire area to explore. Before we sit down. I say again, no. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> that thing almost got me killed. Um, how much was that? Not a massive amount for a great enemy. Yep, 
You know, I was kind of figuring that the item would be in the middle of this mess, because everywhere else was too open. Oh, there's another side of grace right here. Oh, it's one of you. Can you come over here? I don't want to fight you on horseback. Come on. I'm not going to fight you in the Scarlet Rot. Don't make me start lobbing spells at you. Fine, if you're going to stand in the Scarlet Rot, you can die in the Scarlet Rot. I wanted to give you opportunity for a fair fight. Well, isn't this place charming? I could really use it not being night so that I can actually see things better. Hey, and look, there's a big red one. <laughs> I'm expecting there to be a head that activates down here. Let's blow up that one, blow up that one, blow up that one. Excuse me, but I did not attack you. That thing's going to come to life, isn't it? Ah, okay, it's one of you. Why can we summon here? able to summon here. That doesn't make sense. Did killing that fundamentally change something? 
Or does it expect me to summon something here? Um. Oh, there we go. Did I just not notice that sign before? Hmm. I may have, it's possible I may have just not noticed the ability to summon, but I'm fairly sure. No, yeah, look here. Respawn thing. There's no way all of that is just for the head. Well, since you've picked a fight with all of them. some interesting attacks. Maybe we attack the crystal. Maybe we... Do things to the crystal. Maybe we cast sorceries of the crystal. Understand? I don't understand. Hmm. This is definitely a something. This is definitely something more than just an item. There's gonna be a boss fight here. There has to be. There's no other reason that um, it would let you summon. Specifically for just down here, there's just not enough things that are actually a threat. Flowers, plural. Mm, well, we can summon here as well. Did it again. 
I attacked multiple times on the wrong side. Please do stay around, Wolfies. Traveler's hats, perfumer's garb, perfume bottles, respawn steak, potentially something over there. Good job. the meteorite staff we've been wondering where that is for a long time I can see what they mean or see why it might be a starting weapon because that is not hard to get to once you've got Torrin you can literally run straight there and it has really high int scaling good lord I will need to look up the specifics of this. Staff embedded with dark purple glintstone. It is said to be a fragment of a meteorite. Boosts high sorcery scale, boosts high sorcery scale in, and boosts gravity sorceries as well. However, this staff cannot be strengthened in any way. I see. So, it has no upgrade path. Oh shoot! Forgot, do not walk in this stuff. Okay. you can doesn't mean you should. Okay, I think that's everywhere bar the downstairs. looking at down here. A room or a boss? A room. How nasty a room. That's not where a chest normally sits.
Nice! Another gravity sorcery. Basically got the entirety of the north side of this done. I didn't do that. Made it by Millicent. I don't know why I should have to deal with you. That's the lady we were sent to help heal, wasn't it? Wasn't we sent to deal with her pain? I realized too late. And you spawned after the fact. Did we just break that quest line? Checked over there. Give me the item. Been through that. We fought you before, we don't care. Just don't knock me off the horse. And we can be buds. Okay. So that's all of this area explored. Let's go talk to a person about a needle after we killed the person he sent us to um help. The dog is in the way. Um, while we're here, weapon, what was it? It'll be a, um, not a lance, a spear. At least a spear-esque weapon. I would assume. There it is, halberd. A beaten med battle standard is filled around this time-worn halberd. Even after his lord fled, Commander O'Neill continued to brandish this flag uh, in the devastation of the rotten eats. 
in the rot eaten field of Batten, uh, the sole veteran who remembers this battle with pride. I will hoist the war banner aloft and give a rallying cry raise to the attack power and defense of allies or self and allies. And the key item. An intricately crafted needle of unalloyed gold snapped in half. Uh, a ritual implement crafted to ward away the meddling of uh, outer gods. Um, it is thought to be capable of forestalling the incurable rotten sickness. Uh, Sage Gawe has designs for this needle. I got your needle, but the lady attacked me. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Now let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? I can give you some time. She's already attacked me. What's worse or what could further go wrong? Note given by Sage Gawe, detailing the secrets he promised. The town of uh, Celia hides the source. Light free frames atop the candle towers to break the seal. Can you give me as well made? We can give you time. Uh, what's going to be the quickest and safest way to get back into here? I think just spawn into here and running up. Oh, well, you look at that. <laughs> A great big giant skull in the um, cliff. If that isn't ominous enough. Okay, pause while I answer this. Okay, we're back. Um... So I've given you some time. I have awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. <laughs> Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Hmm, she outright attacked me. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> now, all you need to do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church. Do so. Hmm.
Oh, not that church. The, that must be one of the things we need to set on fire. Interesting. Well, we shall have to call it there for today. Let's have a quick look at this finished needle. Uh, one snapped in half, it's been repaired, the ritual implement. Hmm. Well, anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be going through Salia tomorrow. That is the plan. They will be Wednesday for you, I do believe. So yeah, thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.